Coach Mackler, good to see you. Hey, Andy, how are you? Good to have you in the house, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. What a surprise. I just found out about this. Ah, you just learned, huh? Yeah. Well, I've got some good questions for you. It's going to be good for you. You're going to enjoy oh, thanks. it. Thanks. Thanks. Shane's River Shack for a Thursday. Baseball in focus. He had a dad was with us. Wyatt Smith was with us. We've got... Uh, Ken McAvick with us. We got Kenny McAvick with us. We got Stanford Show with us. We got Mr. Show with us. Going to have those guys on in a few minutes here too. But Kenny Mac, did you see the website post? We got a little post for you last week. Did you get Man, like that? Yes, it was great. Thanks, Andy. I tell you, that was fantastic of you guys to jump in there and help us. We've had some great response from it. Really excited about bringing this program back to Greensboro. Um, you know, this is something that's been missing here for a long time. It's been over a decade, from what I understand. We did make an affiliation with the Cone Post 386. Good deal. So yeah, that's a good thing because you often wonder which post you be connected with. So that's very good to learn that. That's good info there. Very good info. Absolutely. And uh, I want to thank Commander Harry Bowers over there and uh, Vice Commander Tom Hyatt and uh, Percy Sudsbury, the adjutant, uh, for all their support. Uh, we went to them on a short notice uh, and, and asked them to, to be our affiliate sponsor and they welcomed us with open arms and we're glad to do it and uh, really excited about having them join us. Give so us that post number one more time so we can memorize it. That's post. the Cone Post 386. 386. So I've got so many American Legion post names in our mind for the summer post 87, post 53. And that number again is 386? That is correct. 386. Got to keep that number in our mind there. And what schools again will you draw from? I mean, sometimes you're just glad to have a few schools going, but you've got a few schools you can draw several here. We do, Andy. Uh, basically, the way Legion Ball works at this level, it's a senior team, and you have to pull from a student body of 5,000 kids or less, grades 10 through 12. And you start out with a base school. Our base school is Page High School, and then we pick up what we call feeder schools that are contiguous to Page if possible, but the real key is that they not cross over into another base school territory. Right, right. The uh, feeder schools at this point are Northern High School, Dudley, uh, Eastern is a consideration, and uh, we're also looking at a few private schools as well in Brimsley. And uh, we've had a great response thus far. The biggest problem we have, and we really appreciate y'all doing what you've done by giving us that plug on Saturday, is that the weather has been such a hindrance for high school teams that there's been a lot of makeup stuff going on, and it's kind of hindered getting our tryouts in. But we are going to have another tryout this Sunday at Page High School, 345. If you, anybody's interested, we ask you to come out. Even if you're not a part of the feeder system, there may be ways that we can logistically make it work. So if you have interest, we beg you to come on out. We're looking for pitchers especially. We'll start out with a roster in the mid-20s. We'll have to tweak it down to 18 by the time we start conference play. And you look at some of those guys in previous years, guys like Grimsley and even Douglas, before they had to drive away to Randolph County to play, this should make it a lot easier for them. Absolutely, absolutely. I tell you, that's what drove this whole idea, Andy. You know, as uh, Jeff and I have kids over at Page and we had done the travel ball, the showcase ball, the camps at the colleges, trying to get these kids exposure. And having done all that, and, and then learning about Legion Ball a few, just a few years ago, it's all new to me. So this is a little bit of a work in progress and a learning curve for us. But we realized that there really wasn't a venue or, or, or a team available for rising seniors or rising juniors. I'm sorry, rising juniors and seniors or graduating seniors uh, to come and play. And for those that aren't familiar with Legion Ball, I got to tell you, the more I learn, the more excited it's I get. It's a good level of play. Yeah. Oh, the level of play is outstanding. Um, the, the competition's great. These are college-bound kids that have been picked up or looking to be picked up or in the process of being recruited. And uh, it's going to be really exciting. I mean, this is really top-notch baseball. And the teams finest. you'll be playing will be teams like Asheboro and uh, Randolph County, those guys. So this yes, is great, sir. great competition with those two teams, outstanding competition. Absolutely. We've got 15 teams in our conference. We're in the Division Three or Area Three of American Legion in North Carolina. We'll play teams like out of High Point, Kannapolis, Kernersville, Moxville, Mooresville, Randolph County, Rowan County, uh, South Rowan, and then we have teams out of Stanley, West Forsyth, Winston-Salem, 
in Davidson County. So it's, it's the a, best competition in the entire state, right it's there. It's a lot of competition, and, competition. And, the, and the most of the teams are playing in and uh, some of the semi-pro team stadiums. There's the High Tom Stadium. We're going to, at this point, we've got a verbal commitment to play our home games at War Memorial. Hopefully, that'll stay true. Uh, those folks have been real accommodating. I want to thank A and T for all their help and support. That's in that good because that'll too. give you a good home field there. Absolutely. And uh, you'll be down at McCray Park some too, I guess. Uh, some games not, there? not sure yet. Not sure there. It, not sure yet. We'll see where we go. Um, I'm, I, I think we are. Mm -hmm. uh, well, when you play that team out of Thomas with the High Toms, you'll be able to get guys like uh, Westland and Ragsdale and uh, Southwest. Be some good competition there too. And Ledford, all those guys over that way. That's, that's exactly stuff. right. Yeah. But you know, I, I got to say that. The, the history of American Legion baseball is phenomenal, and for it not to have been in Greensboro all these years, we're really excited about trying to get this program back in. It's kind of going to fill a void, some of the void that was there when you lost the Palomino baseball. I think Palomino, when Bob Doss was in uh, his prime and very healthy, that was a very vibrant league back in the day, but then when Bob passed away, the league just kind of died out. Like you say, the Northwest Guilford kids were driving all the way down to Lexington last year to play. The Dudley kids, the Grimson kids, going away to Randolph County to play. These kids need a central location. You got to talk to you tomorrow night. Good deal. That is so true. And, and, and again, that was part of what drove the, this idea. It was kind of like last summer where you know we had kids traveling down to Asheboro to play. And Can you uh, get some of those kids this summer that played there last year? The kids like Kyle Smith who's at Catawba now coming back out of Grinch. Can we recruit Kyle, <laughs> Kyle on the team maybe? Can you get those I'll kids? I'll tell you what. Do you have to get releases and stuff like that? We do. We do have to get releases. But the kids that have played with previous teams, uh, they, they pretty well locked them up. Gotcha. You know, gotcha. we, we've got a couple boys out of uh, East uh, East uh, or East Forsyth that we'd like to get, but they're already hooked up with a team out of Charlotte and uh, mm -hmm. the Robinson boys. I think everybody. Knows. Yeah, the Robinson boys. If we just get yeah. enough of this Shane's food lined up, get a catering truck, pull that down to Danny Robinson's house, maybe we can <laughs> sign Luke and Andrew on the spot. Got to get those guys involved. It, Someday it's going to probably come around. It's, as you it get this will. established, get this developed, it's probably going to come and around. Th and that's the goal. We realize this is like starting a new franchise team in any. Oh, in yeah. any in any league and, and we're going to have some bumps along the way and some bruises and we hope that everybody will understand that but you know as this thing builds momentum and snowballs we're, we're really anticipate the level of play to really step it up here in Greensboro where kids are going to want to come and play in our team uh, as opposed to wanting to play in Lexington, Asheboro, Burlington or whatever. So you look to play the games at Memorial Stadium. Will you practice at Page? You got that uh, locked well, up? Well you know actually Andy that's the other thing about American Legion baseball the the, the game schedule so uh, there's not much practice. That's what there's, I mean. there's virtually no practice. The deal I know from the past while these American Legion teams is some days these kids practice about as much before a game as they do when they get in the game. Because I've heard like two hour warm up sessions before the game. They get in there and practice before the games. It, it's 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 just as close to a pro style league team that you can get without being in that level. It is exactly that. Most of your prep is going to be the day of the game. You know your BP. Grounding, fielding, loosening up a good two hours before. And then, you know, we'll play an average of three games a week. We've, we've tried to schedule most everything during the week for field purposes. But once it cranks up, the first game is actually scheduled May 17th. So it's coming, it's coming quick, quick fast, yeah, really yeah. quick. And so we got to finalize the roster here in the next few weeks. So, again, we encourage anybody that thinks that they may be interested, be it page 345 Sunday. Uh, we'll have that as another workout tryout. And then possibly one more after that. Well, who came up with the idea to bring this back yourself? Was this a brainstorm you hit with, or who actually is going to be uh, given the credit for all this great stuff that's going to happen in the future here? Well, Bringing it back to Greens with this this cone team post 386. You know, I think it's a group effort. You know, Jeff Shell and I have had a love for this game, and, and our boys have played together at, at Page, and and you know, we, we've done a lot of work over there, and just a lot of involvement in, in baseball in general at Page High School, and and just as they as they grow older and we realize that we both have done the showcase, you know, what, what are we missing? We're missing a place for these kids to go play when they graduate as seniors before they go to school and play for a school. And, you know, the more we learned about Legion Baseball, I was like, well, this is this is it. This is what we need. Well, why hasn't Greensboro had it? Well, it hasn't had it because it, it takes work, as you well know. It takes It's a huge time commitment. So we're open to anybody that's willing to help us administratively, volunteer. We're going to need people to help with the ticket collection, maybe some concessions, some, maybe some assistance on traveling and coaching and coordinating. I mean, it, this is this is a real intense program 
But, you know, I, I, I have to say that the boys themselves were instrumental uh, in the fact that they were pleading. They were looking they, for something different, too, then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, they, they needed somewhere to go, and they were traveling out of town trying to get on teams. And we, we just kind of said, well, why don't we have a team here? What, exactly. what happened to the why team? Why can't we have our own? Why because you had the Bertner team, you had the Bethel team, you had the Cone team from years ago, and they were all exactly. successful, three teams mm -hmm. in the same town back exactly. in the day. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And, you know, the, and, and it's uh, it's been great. You know, the guys who over at Post 386, when, when we approached them, you know, they welcomed it with open arms. You know, unfortunately, they, we hit them a little late, and, and financially, they're a little strapped, so they're, they're not going to really be able to help us. But we wanted that affiliation. Sure. And it's great to be involved with them, and they're going to help us both volunteer work. And, and uh, you know, like I said, Percy Suds over there, Sudsbury, he's been fantastic to work with. And I want to thank you. Yeah, we got to get Percy. our man uh, Bobby Dunn involved. I mentioned him on the website. I had to get Bobby Dunn, get that Hyundai crew involved. Got to get those go. guys a little support for them because yeah. he's a big baseball man. If his son was still uh, young enough to play, I'm sure he'd be involved too because he's a big, he's a Northern Guilford guy too. Which okay. I think he might draw some for Northern too. Cool. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah, Good to know. Huge baseball man. That. His son, uh, Trip Dunn. Got to get that name, Trip Dunn. He was playing in that, uh, I think, Catawba Valley Community College at one time. He was there. But that's definitely Mr. Dunn, a huge baseball man. And if he hadn't got any baseball bucks, I would be shocked. He's got a few baseball bucks shaking around at that uh, Bob Dunn Hyundai. Another guy you might want to get in touch with, you need to consult it. This guy probably tell you everything in the world. If you need any uh, information consulting, touch base with Brady Lawson. He's with that Eastern Randolph team. He's one of those guys that there's a more veteran American Legion man. And those information about American Legion, Grady Lawson is the man when it comes to American Legion baseball. Okay, good deal. He's a good one. Well, like I said, we, we're, we're really learning, so we're open ears and we're open minded, and we welcome any and all. Well, let's hit your sports background uh, first before we get any further. The McAvick name is deep in sports. People don't know it, they do know it now. They, they got out of that John McAvick name. Texas and uh, Wake Forest and gosh, yeah, yeah. everywhere that man. Kansas City Chiefs, I mean, that yeah, McAvick name, yeah. I mean, more toward football, and it's also a bit toward baseball, too. Well, you know, John was is was a great, it was a great coach, and it was a great baseball player, and um, uh, he was my uncle, and my dad was also went to Akron uh, on a full basketball scholarship in baseball. Uh, I played high school ball for Scythe Country Day, and, and we won the second in the state two years in a row. So. Man, that's going back a few years. Boy, for Scythe, I didn't know they had that good of baseball for Scythe. Well, that's it, pretty good stuff. I don't yeah. think they had much since we left. But. They had it that one year when Andy Park, when Andy Park went that that's one true. year, brought all the kids, and they did get us. That's good stuff. That's true. Though. That's good stuff. But yeah, well, um, you know, we're, I've got two boys at Page, and I've really been real involved with them since Nehemiah to a grasshopper coach them just like Jeff has with Sanford many dads out there have with their kids and I tell you there's nothing like sports you got them on a sports field you know where they are and what they're <laughs> That's doing a good point good point and uh, you can watch over them at the same time exactly, exactly. it doesn't matter what level of play they're in it, it, there's something great that comes out of sports the, the team and the commitment and the responsibility and uh, you know we're, we're big big sports family and, and love it and encourage what are some it. of your favorite stadiums you visited over the years these professional sports stadiums of baseball well you know the the Yankee Stadium of course is always nice I got a chance to go see the old Yankee Stadium in time Braves Stadium is always a beautiful stadium um, I, I can remember as a kid growing up in Northeast Ohio the old Cleveland Stadium back up on on the on the lake there and that was that has a lot of history in it and uh, but you know the, the, the giant stadium out in San Francisco is quite a treat, and uh, those are a few that stick out in What's my head. What's the first baseball team you played on back as a kid? Where was that? Was that back in Ohio? Yes, sir. It, it was, uh, I'll never forget it. My first coach was George Dittmer and Joe Konchek, and these guys were hardcore, and this was T-ball. And I'll never forget this. They they played strictly by the rules. They drove us. They and they taught us discipline. And and, and there one time a, a kid hit the ball, ran down to first base, and turned to second. Wasn't going to second, but made the turn. And and Joe Konchek started screaming up and down, "Go tag him! Go tag him!" And they caught him out. And they pulled the rule book out and showed where the kid had made the wrong turn. Sure enough, we got the call. But even at six years old, it was intense. They're yeah. on it. They're right on top They're of every, top every of detail. Yeah, every yeah, detail. Great guys. Great influence and you know to this day 40 some years later I still remember them. How did you end up in North Carolina? Did you follow John McAvoy we did. when he came to Wake Forest? We did. Uh, Is that true? Uh, yep. Okay. Uh, John had come down here and uh, he uh, took the job at Wake. We came down for the black gold game that spring 
My father had been wanting to relocate his business and wow, fell in love with North Carolina, so here we are. Man, that's amazing. The yeah. influence something like that can have back in that yep. day. That's great stuff. Uh, who's the coach you learned the most from over the years? I would say probably uh, – Coach Hyde was one. I'm, I'm more of a football player than, a, than a, bas a baseball player, but Coach Hyde was a young football coach I had, and then I had Coach Sitterly over at uh, – I also attended Davie County High School. Well, that's good and stuff. Coach Sitterly played for the Pittsburgh Steelers years ago with Mike Webster. You remember those I remember years? real well, yeah. yeah. Mike, the big so, center, tough man. Yeah, and uh, he was a big influence for me. So. Now, what are you looking to do with this American Legion team now? Kind of give us the foundation of the team. What do you hope to do with this team as you begin to build it? You know, as we build this team, Andy, what we're really trying to do is bring back a tradition here uh, and, then, and then a winning tradition. Uh, what we hope to do is find a good, safe, the venue, the beauty of, of the of the American Legion is is the pledge that it has. Yeah. Good honest. Because they fair recite play. that pledge before every game. Every game, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it's just uh, you know, the American baseball is 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 the backbone of this country. I mean, it, it is what it is. It's like apple pie and hot dogs and Chevrolets, if you will. And uh, we hope to bring back a good, solid program to Greensboro. We hope to get volunteers to step up. I don't plan on doing this for year in and year out for years to come. I, I just want to get it started and hopefully. You said you had two time. boys. Now, you, is your other son younger than Kenny? He is. I have a freshman, and he's my football player. That's good. That's yeah. well, he, does he play baseball too? No. He did up until this year. He decided that he wanted to focus on his football uh, career. So he was. Uh, as a matter of fact, they had workouts again tonight. Weightlifting, strictly weightlifting. Hey, yeah, good. <laughs> I, 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 I'll be last week. Come over with that. Keep stressing that point. Yes, yes sir. Yes, absolutely. So, uh, yeah, he's a, he's a good kid, and I think he'll go a long way in the football. What position does he play? Receiver? No, no. He's uh, he's offensive guard. He's a big tackle. guard, then. Yeah, yeah, big build yeah, guy. Yeah, he's bigger than I am. He's 15 years old. Wow, so. he's a freshman too, huh? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Is he going to be a uh, Following that offensive line beside Will Harden this coming year, going to be a imposing big offensive line with those two guys. Yeah, up front. yeah, I think so. Good. They're going to work Nick in at center. That's my son. And, um, you know, as a matter of fact, Coach Makovic follows the boys from afar and uh, stays in touch via email. And we send some video from time to time. And he gives us points and tips. And, you know, his recommendation was for, for Nick to, uh, to go to the center. And we kind of, you know, let that be known. And, and the coaches are accommodating and, and we're going to work him in at center. It's, How will you continue to get the word out about the American Legion? Will you guys eventually have a website and things like that coming absolutely. up? Absolutely. And, and, you know, we, we, we kind of got a late start on this and, and you know and, and honestly running my own business in town Andy and, and trying to keep up with the page program and doing a lot of volunteer work. You got a Yankees cap on but you're wearing a lot of hats these days right? <laughs> a, lot, a lot of hats. It's, it's to keep my hair down. <laughs> wearing a lot of, you know, I see that hair in every game when I see that hair I know Mr. McAvick's in the, in the area I look for that hair it keeps you going yeah, but you're wearing a lot of caps a lot of hats these days for sure. We do we do and you know again that's why we're looking for any and all the help we can get. Well, it's a good thing you're doing. I think it's going to help the kids a lot get this team together on Sundays, the next big practice, right? Yes, sir. Sunday at 345 Page High School. Come on out. If you have any questions whether or not you're eligible or uh, able to play with us, let us worry about it. Uh, looking for a lot for pitchers. We need a lot of pitchers in this league. So if you can throw the ball. Come see us. Uh, what about your email address and uh, contact numbers for you or Absolutely. other people involved with the team? Uh, any, at this point in time, the, the best email to get me, because I can respond from my phone with Andy, is pcroofing123. That's Peter Charlie Roofing123 at gmail.com. And my cell phone number, which you're welcome to call it 24-7. If you get my voicemail, leave me a message. I will call you back. I prefer a voicemail over a text because I'm in the car driving a lot, and I can I can jot that one down. But, again, it's Ken Makovic at 336-430-9507. And uh, I'll repeat all that. That's Peter Charlie Roofing 123. That's PC Roofing 123 at gmail.com or Kenny Mac at 336 430 9507. Listen, you did a good job. Tonight. Andy, thank you so much for your you. time. Yes, sir. We'll keep it I going. I want to thank you again for all your help and support. You really, you really gave us a good shot in the arm last week with that plug on the website. Thanks again for tonight. Can't thank you enough for everything you do for Greensboro Sports. You're fantastic. Keep, keep you it rolling. Crew, that's you guys thing. do a great job, and we want to thank you. That's, gotta, gotta to keep it, that's the way to stay in the game, right? Got to yes, stay sir. in the game somehow. Thanks, Andy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Stanford Shell's deck going to get a couple players in. Kenny Mack is coming up after Stanford. we got Big Ken Mack. Uh, Vic, I always call him Kenny Mack and uh, 
run the names like that. Call him Little Mac. Little Mac. I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. So Stanford Shell in next. And Stanford, have a seat. Good to see How you. How you doing, Mr. Durham? Good Good to well, see you. Are. Good to have Thanks you in. Thanks for having us on. Yeah, glad to have you guys in. And wanted to get you back during football season. I think at the time, Coach had told us you were injured. You were playing linebacker, got injured 